What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft. Another, probably doing another stipulation here as well. Um, like I said, we still have Wildfire and Upheaval. We still have build a stack Sticks. Those are the two, two tricky ones because you want to open specific pieces or else you risk them just not coming together, right? And you guys hate that. In the YouTube comments, you guys hate that. You're like, man, you're supposed to draft a dragon deck and you only had two dragons in there. And I'm like, I can't help what I open. I'm sorry. But anyway... Right now, only draft and play cards with three converted mana cost or less. Try no red. Bonus points for Bob and Ashiok. This is from Afro2, uh, who has done stipulations like this in the past. And I think we either end up red, white, or just like red. And it works out pretty well. But this time we're going to try to avoid red. Because it seems pretty obvious why, right? Um, that being the case, probably sort of body and mind, right? It doesn't commit us to a color. I don't know if black green is going to be great. The problem with green, I'm going to tell you this now. The problem with green is that you want to ramp into big creatures. The creatures that cost three or less in green are not great. <clears throat> Brimaz, however, is pretty good. I think we do want to be. I think we do want to be white. White seems like one of the better positioned cards. We can also try to be white black. Maybe the Scrubland comes back. Actually, the Brimaz is probably coming back. I'm going to take the Scrubland here. I guarantee you this Brimaz is going to come back, guys. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Wow, we've got a Rafelos here and a, a Hero of Blade Hold. Yeah, that's that's pretty nuts. We could also take Search for Ezkanta. Uh, I like Dismember and Bone Shredder, though. Probably Dismember, right? Cash is what's going on. Good seeing you, buddy. Good seeing you. Um, I'm going to take the Bone Shredder. This doesn't kill Titans. This kills Titans. This kills... I don't know, man. This is a hard pick. Could also be unexpectedly absent. Thank you. Spud Muffin, thanks so much for the reset. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome back. Bone Shredder can also wear a sword, which is definitely relevant. Yeah, I'll take Bone Shredder. Shambling Vent. Oh, yes. You know. Like you do. This guy is not an option. <laughs> These guys are not options. Mana Leak, not an option. Mesmeric Fiend or Selfless Spirit. Let's go with this. Maybe it's Mesmeric Fiend, actually. May the farts be with you? Wow, that's actually pretty hilarious. Yeah, we'll take Mesmeric Fiend here. Float is good with swords. Yeah, I think they're both. I think that an argument can be made for both. I want to take the float. Ooh, Hypnotic Spectre and Blade Splicer. Wow, they're really making this hard. They're giving me the hard choices. Oh, I think I wanted the other one, but it accidentally clicked that. That's terrible. I want to take Knight's Whisper. I don't think we're going to be in any uh, shortness of removal, but card advantage is at a premium here. I think. Exactly, exactly. Also a Danto Vanguard in this pack. That guy's real good. I'll take Swords. Swords is very good. Uh, Maelstrom Pulse seems fine. I mean, we could splash it potentially if the Overgrown Tomb comes back. I think this is looking pretty good so far. <coughs> I also don't mind being Sultai and uh, playing the Leovold. That's, that's a cool dream to have. There's the Brimaz, guys. There's the big Brims. Told you he was coming back. This is also one of my favorite swords, so... Overgrown Tomb did come back. So did Hero of Bladehold. Jeez. Yeah, we'll take we'll take Overgrown Tomb. I, I feel like Abzan could be nice. Recruiter. Oh, Vivian Reed? Ooh, I kind of like Vivian 
not well Vivian Champion of the Wild. Her name is Vivian Reed. Even if even if it's not the name of the card, that's still her name. So I feel okay about that. I always forget to check and see if you're streaming. Can you do you follow? I mean, you can always follow, and then you get notifications when I go live. Wow. Eight mana, six mana, nine mana. I'm going to take this guy because he's the best with reanimate. Oh, wow. Storing Wildwood. I'm going to take Storing Wildwood. Pernicious Deed kills everything in our deck. This fixes our mana. Seems like a pretty easy choice. Look at Frank over here. Encourage people to be followers and not leaders. Are you guys all followers? You should be followers. Oh my god, and last pick. Oh, so we have all three creature lands in our colors. That's pretty good. <laughs> we could play take channel and be like, I'll uh, channel for three. Uh This pack's interesting. Kitchen Finks is good, but we're like, I feel like we've got a ton of three drops already. Drelax, thanks so much for the reason. Man, almost at that year mark already. Barely noticed the time go by. <laughs> Surprise Pikachu. Oh, Genesis Wave is three. That's interesting. I do think it's Inquisition. I don't care about Wall of Omens because this feels like an attacking deck. I do want Inquisition here. Um, Ancient Tomb is interesting because like we're probably not going to need to be ramping. So we'll take Inquisition. Blooming Marsh. Hero's Downfall is nice. Avacyn's Pilgrim is also nice because it does fix two of our lands. Thief of Sanity is interesting. We don't have any blue, though. I'm just not going to... I ain't gonna worry about all that. Hero's Downfall is nice. I feel like our three drops are gonna be real. What would push you into green? I mean, we already have Maelstrom Pulse and Vivian Reed. So, I mean, that's good enough when we already hit Overgrown, Hissing, and Stirring Wildwood. Oh, they probably took Finale. They probably took Genesis Wave out for Finale of Devastation, but that that's kind of weird. Well, also, Fracture Identity costs five mana, so unlikely we'd be able to play it. I'm going to take Blooming Marsh, I think. <clears throat> Actually, I bet Blooming Marsh comes back. We'll take the Pilgrim. Oh, Chrome Mox is interesting. Skull Clamp seems nuts. There are a lot of cards that can make dudes. We already have Burmaz, we have Blade Splicer, Selfless Spirit. Skull Clamp seems insane. no no all right well we're only taking go for the throat it's the only card that's even reasonable for us dang biscuits legion's landing could actually be pretty good for us it's likely we're going to attack with a bunch of dudes we already have an inquisition so i'm not too high on that it's it makes another target for skull clamp man stoneforge mystic would be great a great pickup for this deck yeah we're actually gonna try the legion's landing Whenever you stream veterans ask what the stip is, I'm always like, come on, come on. I'm going to take Sword of Fire and Ice. This is a solid sword. I could see Containment Priest. Containment Priest probably comes back even. I bet even with two cards in the pack. Uh, if I if I can predict any cards in this pack, it's probably going to be Goblin Welder, Containment Priest. Those are my picks. Godless Shrine. Lingering Souls, Pack Rat, Godless Shrine. No. I'm so sad right now. God, Lingering Souls is unbelievable, especially when we have Skull Clamp. But then we have Pack Rat, which is also unbelievable. And it's a two drop. <clears throat> it's got to be Souls here. And it feels terrible. We're so many three drops, man. Eh, Brailing's fine. Maybe it takes the place of something else. I'm going to take the Wall of Omens over the Kitchen Finks, I think. We just have so many three drops. Did 
doesn't do anything though. <laughs> it's so bad. I guess it's. it's... No, Kitchen Finks is just better. Even if it replaces a different card. Oh, Blue Marsh did come back. That's pretty nice. Do I want Honor of the Pier? Hmm. Hmm. Let's take Honor of the Pure, because I think the upside is higher than just a stupid Blooming Marsh. Thalia, speak of the devil. I'm going to take this Wildfire. This is Crutch Jr. This one's for you, buddy. This one's for you. Alright, well, I think these two packs have gone quite well so far. I could see Cutting the Green. I mean, we have three mana, three three lands <laughs> that fix, so it's definitely kind of like a free splash. History of Benalia is very good. Umazawa's Jite is also very good. Noble Hierarch is also very good. We only have eight creatures right now. Where are my creatures at? Actually, history is probably going to wheel. Jitte is probably where you want to be. Crutch Jr., this one's for you too, buddy. <laughs> uh, I like Glensleaf Siphoner. I bet Savannah wheels. Glensleaf Siphoner is very good in a deck like this. Also, I bet Conceal. One of these two will probably wheel. We can take Glensleaf Siphoner here. That seems great. Elvish Mystic. It's not Dark Ritual. So our option is either Disenchant, which we actually don't have a Disenchant effect yet. I guess we have Maelstrom Pulse. Or Elvish Mystic. It's probably actually Disenchant. I don't think we're taking Elvish Mystic here. Mother of Runes? Burden Catacomb Vindicate? Oh my god, why are you putting all these cards in the same pack? Come on. Oh man. That's just brutal. Like Verdant Catacomb gets Scrubland and it could potential and it gets Overgrown Tomb. I bet Vindicate comes back. I'm gonna take the Mother of Runes because I think it's just better. I also just don't think we need another three drop here. Oh wow, Mind Twist. Do you guys know Mind Twist costs only uh, one has one as a one CMC? Huh, who knew? We could also just take like Dauntless Bodyguard. We could also just take more aggressive one drop creatures too. I think that's probably better. As we're passing Mind Twist for like Dauntless Bodyguard. And I actually think it's fine. funny because I get bonus points for the Bob but Bitter Blossom we have Skull Clamp jeez I'm going to take the Dark Confidant because of the bonus points but I am damn boy he's thick boy that's a thick ass boy damn boy Bayou and Temple Garden? Holy smokes. This is great. Uh, we have Scrubland. We have... Yeah, we're going to take the Bayou. Maybe the other one wheels. Maybe the temp maybe the uh, the Savannah wheels. Wow, that... Yep, there's the history we wanted. Also, Honor of the Pure looks real good now. Wow. Yep, there's the Savannah that we wanted. So now we have Scrubland, Savannah, and Bayou. We have all three of those fixing lands. What if that Verdant Catacombs comes back? Can you even imagine? We'll take top. Guys. 
The Vindicate came back. Kite Sail Freebooter comes back, please. What the shit? Get out of here. Get out of here, dude. <laughs> Galaxy Brain on Vindicate Wheeling. No, no. No, no. The second to last brain is on Vindicate Wheeling. The Galaxy Brain is on Bitter Blossom Wheeling. Holy shit. Holy magolies. That was insane. What do we even cut here, my dudes? Honor of the Pure, we can cut. Bone Shredder is alright, I guess? Oh my god. Like, this is gonna flip every time. Oh my god. That hadn't happened yet in my universe. <laughs> I hear you. Probably don't need Inquisition main deck. Uh, I can see that. Is this a 16 land deck because of all the things? I don't think we need the green, which is unfortunate because we have a lot of green fixing. We have just five free pieces of green fixing along with two creature lands. Why cut Honor the Pure so quickly? I don't know. Because we have to make cuts? <laughs> I don't know, Bill. God. What do you want from me? I mean, it doesn't work because it doesn't work with Bitter Blossom, obviously. And we got the bonus points for Dark Confidant, and we didn't go red. Unbelievable. And we have three things to hit with Stoneforge. Technically four if we got this Sword of Fire and Ice. This is 14 creatures. Legion's Landing is 15 creatures. History is 16. Lingering Souls is 17. Bitter Blossom is 18 creatures. I actually kind of don't like Thalia here. I kind of don't like Thalia and Prowler. Thalia seems bad just because we do have a lot of spells. Like, we have History, we have Lingering Souls. Um, no, Glintsleaf Siphoner is fantastic. I think I think Glintsleaf Siphoner is super underrated, even if you draw one card off of it. It might be worth running Pulse over Bone Shredder for sure, just because it's a, it's a free splash, basically. So we can actually cut those and cut the Prowler. No, Thalia is all players. Thalia is non-creature spells cost one more to cast. So basically this, 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 this. Shut up and take my money. There's a lot. Everything's terrible. After the pack one pick two Lotus last draft and the entirety of the wheel of this third pack, please consider adding this to the soundboard. Okay, let's see what it is. Oh my god. Bitch, are you for real? <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> what is this from? Oh, Rudy Ray Moore and Disco Godfather. Wow, that's a solid clip right there. Wow. Guys, is this a is this a pick two lotus? Bitch, are you for real? <laughs> Draft looks great. Thanks for doing my stuff. Just thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are awesome, Afro too. Also, I like that you're so consistent with these, and also that they end up working out pretty well. All right, so we are gonna play the pulse because it's just better than it's just better than bone shredder. Really, I don't want to. I don't ever pay the upkeep on that. And then we get to play all these lands. And then we just get to not play any really no forests because we have one two three four five five green sources here so what is this one two three four five this is nine black sources and then we have one two three four nine 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 five and 16 lands that seems insane oh yeah we're doing this for sure ew you're skating what's going on buddy thank you for saying so i just got my haircut yesterday
Question for chat, have you ever had to write out your job description and then description and then realize you have way more work than you thought you did on your day to day? Because I did that today and wow. I need to make you're like, God, I could just keep going. We could also sneak in this Ashen Rider if things get dicey. Also, having Vindicated Maelstrom Pulse in the main deck is just fantastic. I cannot believe that bitter blossom wheel. That is unbelievable to me. This hand is fan fantastic as well. I cannot believe that Savannah came back, the Bitter Blossom came back. The Vindicate came back. Like, are you are you serious? Bitch, are you for real? Oh my god. Turn two Bitter Blossom with Skull Clamp. My galaxy brain is gonna explode, my dude. Teamer with Goblin Electromancer, huh? Alright. Alright, then. I'm tempted to Kite Sail Freebooter here just because I want to know what's going on. I don't want to be gross. That's sad. Alright, what do you got? Channel, Explosion Expansion, Search for Tomorrow. Well, one of these things is not like the other. Search is pretty much fine. Next turn, you're actually going to go search island. And then the turn after that, you're going to need double green, double double red, double blue. But then you can kind of go infinite. So you're going to have one, two, three, four, five from the search. So you're like two turns away from it. Yeah, we're just going to take channel here. Because channel, you can do busted stuff with other cards. Whereas like explosion expansion and search on their own are not super threatening. Yeah, reveals 13 cards. Love it. Um, they revealed Explosion by itself and Expansion by itself. So you can get rid of those. Get rid of those. And now we know your hand is these four. So everything under search. There we go. Okay. <laughs> you play one Kite Self Free. We're 13 cards going to the revealed zone. Seems good. Yep, so you played Island and Searchums. Seems good. You have one random card. Mm I think it's just Bitter Blossom Skull Clamp here. So we know two of the cards in their hand. They could go 1-1, one, 1-1, one, 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 2 They can do something for 3. I don't think we really care about that. We have Mother of Runes. Bitter Blossom. Skullular Clampo. You mean these clamps that I use every day? I'm just going to pass here. No, we're not going to block with this at any juncture. We're also not going to use mom if they attack because then they can just shoot mom in response. Wow, that sounds terrible. Don't you shoot my mother in response?
They still haven't played that forest. That's nice. We still have the exact cards in their hand. Three, you gotta shoot my face. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so that's out. Yeah, if you guys haven't done so, definitely go to Rob's mom, Rob's mom .co. You can check out all things related to Rob's mom. Specifically, one sick burn. Well, that's sad. So what we can do is equip this guy. Draw a card. That's a lot of things we're doing right now. Probably play Lingering Souls here. And then we can next turn we can play Landing. Yeah, we can just do all the things. We're going to play Lingering Souls here. Wow. Bitter Blossom basically says, pay one life, draw two cards every turn. Do you get 5% off at robsmom.co? You get 100% off. Got him. Oh, a sword of body and mind. Also, we have sort of fire and ice in the sideboard too. So, we have the two teamer swords. Yeah, just keep drawing cards, I guess. But if you guys did want to get some sweet Star Wars apparel, uh, lounge pants, t-shirts, underwear, super comfortable micro model, check out meundies.com/slash Frank Lepore. You'll get fifteen percent off along with free shipping and free returns. So, if you don't like anything, just return it. But you won't have to because it's actually super comfortable. So we are going to play this. We don't have anything green. So we're just going to play this guy. I think we're doing well. Flip this jabroni. Oh man, our deck is gas. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Upheaval is a thing. Uh, Tarker, you get the negative one. I'm just gonna kill this guy now. I actually don't want to draw any more cards because um, upheaval, basically. Like, if they upheaval, I don't want to just fill my hand with cards that I can't even play. Upheaval is pretty rough, though, if they have an upheaval. They played a land, though, so I'm assuming this is not upheaval. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skull Clamp seems like a good, it's a good card. It's a shame they gave it a drawback of killing your X ones. Yeah, that was one of the, that was one of the worst parts of it. You know the funny thing? Skull Clamp used to give plus one, plus one, but they felt like it was too good. So they actually did add plus one, negative one as a downside. That was the drawback of Skull Clamp because it was too good. Okay, they changed their mind. They added seven, decided against it. They're just sort of body and mind here? Probably, right? And we have Stoneforge. Or we're not a Stoneforge, we have Mother of Runes, so.
Oh, they're doing something. Pay them costs. Turnabout. Okay. Chosen type is Creechy. Yeah, plus one plus oh is probably just a fine card. I don't think Skull Clamp's actually broken in plus one plus oh. Skull Clamp's broken when you can just massacre your own team in order to draw cards. Okay, Sylvan Carry added. Not the uh, not the pre upheaval card I would have expected. Okay, the old the old Sylvan carry added into scoopums. All right, seems good. Draw a card. Doesn't matter. It does not matter. It does not matter. I kind of want Inquisition against them. Over like, probably over like Vindicate. This is also a very good sword. Wow, this deck seems sweet. They have lots of spells, but so do we. So I don't want to make our deck worse just because I want to make theirs a little a little better. Yeah, I don't think we need honor. Like this is why I took it out the first time. But then Bill was like, Why are you so quick? Why are you so quick to get rid of honor in the pier? And I was like, dang it, Bill. I don't know. Also, Sword of Fire or Sword of Body Mind. I think sort of... I don't think we want four equipment. She's just asking questions. Yeah. I don't need your... I don't need your Inquisition around here, buddy. I don't need your Inquisition, Bill. Ooh. Turn one. Hmm. This is great because we can actually still cast Kitchen Fingers because of the Bayou. That's hilarious. Fast Bond. Oh, they're definitely upheavaling. All right, well, Gosum, I'm just gonna have six here. Why do that? I don't understand. I never understand that. Why not put an Ashen Rider then? That's a good point. I had not considered that. I think I hadn't considered it for good reason. Are they just gonna cast something? Oh, all right. That's fine. You got it. Dang it, Tarkov. Or they take Freebooter. Free booty. Oh, they took Confidant. Okay. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Hmm. Okay. Mountain in hand. So we play Bodyguard next turn, we play Kitchen Finks, then we can play Landing. It's one of these two. I guess it's just this guy. He doesn't protect anyone, but that's fine. And Mountain. I kind of just want to play Freebooter here just to... Uh... Well, we don't know the card in their hand. And... Okay. Sure. Done. And it gives us three bodies for the next turn, which is nice. What's that enchantment? Legion's Landing or Fast Bond? Uh, you can play any number of lands on each of your turns whenever you play a land. If it wasn't your first, you get to... Wow, they have nothing. For all your strength, you have nothing to punish me with. Alright. Zaichi, fast bond. 
Bond Not Bound. Bond Not Bound. Do 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 do. Gonna make all of the dudes. Alright, they're at five, so they're dead on board. Alright, well. Boy, this is. And they use this, so it's like, that's not gonna do it. They can't be like, deal six, draw ten. That doesn't, that would never do that because it's even, but you know what I'm saying. You get it. We won the game. <laughs> In response to your concession, I will. Wow. Beta, $600. Revised, 10 bucks. That's insane. Guys, this deck turned out pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Your deck is really good against the team or do nothing deck. I think it's good against other, other decks as well. Oh, uh, yeah, I think the sand's keepable. You might say it's immensely keepable. Oh, that was a good draw. Wow, that was a good draw. The only thing better than that is like a turn two Bitter Blossom, am I right? Or Dark Confidant? Oof. Bonus points for Dark Confidant, you say? Well, you see... I have a Dark Confidant. Really? I hope it's a Blightsteel Colossus, just so I can shoot him in the face with this thing. It's not. It's going to be a Mere Battle Sphere, which is going to be the absolute worst, because they can activate this, sacrifice it, get back Mox Ruby, and just do it again next turn. It's. I think we're probably dead here, because of these shenanigans. Or it's going to be in Quill Leviathan. I'm hoping... I have a 33% chance it's a Blade Steel. If you believe that's how odds work. It's not. But in this particular situation... We'll say it is. Because there's no way they get Blade Steel here. They could get Cadalta Forge Master. Yes. Excellent. You chose poorly. If they have a counterspell, it's going to feel real bad. Yep, that's what we figured they'd do. That's fine. I mean, we were, we, they were going to do that one way or the other if they did it last turn, if they did this turn. They only they have two cards left, though. That's pretty good. Man, I wish I had one more land here. So it's 
It's got to be Blade Splice. We just want creatures on the board. And next turn we can Jitte. Which is pretty strong. Pretty strong. Yeah, Blightsteel shuffling in is super nice. That's fine. Uh, you can have the mountain. I don't care about giving you a third island. I guess it doesn't really matter, right? They're all going to Karn, so... Oh, Kirkland's signature, if it isn't your boy. And then we're going to flip this Legion's Landing, which lets us equip this Skull Clamp post-combat to draw some crads. This guy's going to die anyway. Oh. Well, then. Look at you calling it MH1. That's pretty funny. Um, I think some are good. Some are, some are all right. Uh, skull clamp here. Ooh, we we looking good, boys. Let's keep that open so I know what's going on over here. I think the new Urza is pretty busted. I don't think in, I don't think in any competitive. Con yeah, you can put Inkwell Leviathan in your hand, my dude. The problem with putting it on, on Gollum is that I just didn't want them to... If they had something in hand, like a removal spell, they're going to be inclined to kill this first anyway. So I just didn't want to put all my eggs in one little basket. They have six mana. Oh, Mind Slaver, huh? Well then. Well then. That's problematic. Um, okay, let's try to draw things. Kite Sail, Freebooter, and Dark Confidant seem pretty good this turn, I guess. Attack your face. Attack Karn. Plus two, plus two. One of these jobbies, Kite Cell Freebooter. Let's get rid of Through the Breach. And Dark Confidant, sure. I mean, they're still going to kill our crits, but they can only kill either this or this and this, so it's fine. I'll wait till we get to the end step. If they play something else during their turn, like a 1-1 one, one or something. Uh, gain 2. Gain 2. Alright. Let's see what we reveal. Oh, Stirring Wildwood, Selfless Spirit. They can negrate. They, the one creature that has a sacrifice ability on it. Man, and it gets back to their turn and they just get to Ancestral Vision. That's brutal. This is very rude, by the way. Let 
let me guess. You just kill that thing? So now they have a way to kill. They could also skull clamp something. We're drawing two after that. So, like, they could actually go negative one, negative one, skull clamp, sacrifice. And it makes our board pretty emaciated. Bob. Alright, well, that's fine. And it's probably going to kill itself. So we know their last card is Inqua Leviathan, but they are going to draw three here plus their card for the turn. So they're going up to five cards, plus if they get rid of Kite Sail Freebooter. I mean, I'd probably risk getting rid of the Kite Sail Freebooter just because then they could, if they draw Blightsteel. How can you kill the Quagmire? Just kill itself, sure. Okay, that's fine. Oh, this is this is nice because they actually I now I can activate this. They didn't tap all our lands. That's pretty good. Could they have cleared the whole board? How would they have gotten rid of the golem? Oh, like neg three, neg neg two, neg two on this guy, and then you can go clamp. Well, how would we kill this guy then? Yeah, because this guy's a one two, so you need three jitake jitay counters. So you one of these guys would be surviving. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I mean, Jitte's all of a card. We get to kill multiple of these guys, so... I mean, they're just going to block here. I don't think it's worth the one life. Jesus, Jesus, Skull Clamp is a hell of a card, too. I right, have all three creature lands in our hand. That's insane. One, two, three, one, two. We can play a creature land. So we can play one of these guys, equip the Jitte to the floaty boy. Uh, green, black. Yeah, remember we were talking about Inkle Leviathan, Mirror Battle Sphere, or Blightsteel? Those are the three he had. So now we know you have Inkle Leviathan and other things in hand. We're not really hurting on life. I'd rather just have Brimaz out here because it's a great Skull Clamp target. And probably going to play... Sh Actually, Hishin Quagmire seems good because it blocks Battle Sphere pretty effectively. What? 
What? Come on. That's sad. I'm actually going to keep one counter on here. We don't have to remove it now. Jesus. That's brutal. <laughs> oh my god. Shut up and take my money. Guess we can just keep doing this. Play all the swords. Step easy one here. Take all the swords. Enjite and batter skull and swords. But since there's only seven picks for the stipulation, no alts or exceptions. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh my god. Main. Just play an untapped land, I guess. We could move this over here, making Brimaz unbeatable. I mean, we have Vindicate, we have uh, Maelstrom Pulse, we have lots of ways to deal with this stupid thing. How much does Inkwell Leviathan cost? Like a thousand? Nine? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. They're literally one land away from Inkwell Leviathan. Gross. What the shit? What is going on? Is it an X spell? <laughs> What's happening right now? Where am I? Okay. That was weird. History of Bonali Bernalia. This guy makes soldiers? This is a soldier, right? He's a soldier. I thought I told you I'm a soldier and a soldier. Sure, that seems fine. I have to get my third mox. Well, Disenchant is definitely coming in. Sensei's Divining Top. Sure. This just took them off a lot of lands, which is nice. Because we can actually go sort of body and mind equip here. Uh, then they have pro blue, so the only thing they could have is a red card, and the red card is not going to deal with the plus six plus six we're giving, so. We could also equip Skull Clamp. I didn't tap your lands? What does that mean? Oh, he said, oh, because that was with the Mind Slaver. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm just taking four here. Untap one land. We'll untap a buy. Oh, we're just going to win the game. All right. Did not see that coming. But here we are. Game winnings. All right. Sort of Fire and Ice? Yeah, that has red and blue in the title. Let's bring in Disenchant, Inquisition, because they have Tinker and Winter Orb and all kinds of bullshleeps. What does that mean? I don't know. I'm just 
We're just talking here. Oh, we're gonna destroy a non artifact creature. Yep, take that out. That, that's hot trash. Why are you bringing an Ashen Rider? <laughs> we can't play cards that cost three or more. How are we gonna cast it? When we like, I don't think we're. I think we have to draw. We have eight. We have sixteen lands. We have to draw half of the, the lands in our deck in order to cast an Ashen Rider. I'm actually surprised they're not playing Vivian Reed here. Um, we are on a three or less step. That is correct. That is correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, nine, but I almost feel like we, we want to actually add one more planes because we don't have anything double black and we have a bunch of white mana one drops and double white cards. So I'm just going to submit a 41. Uh, we're gonna forego Mother on turn one. Unless we draw land. Actually, that'd be great. Well. I think we have too many things to do on turn one. I think we just want Mom on turn one. Because next time we can play Dauntless Bodyguard Protect Mom. That seems good. Oh, God. It's all happening. Trigger Mage, get my other mocks. I got so many moxes. Uh, this is match two, game two. Skull Clamp. Uh, we did not board in Thalia because it affects our deck a lot. Like, as you can see, it affects three of the five cards in our hand, which is pretty, pretty ridiculous. No, this isn't Storm. Uh, choose a card. The chosen card will be put in your hand. I'll just give you the island. Like, you can get to a point where you can cast Inkwell Leviathan. But, I mean, it's, it's even though it's a while from now, like, you still, we're not going to win by then, so... We just want to hit some lands here. Oh, three, three. Goblin, yeah, I mean, you're, just, you're just unloading here. Sure. Man, where my disenchant at? Not a land. A land. Hooray! <sighs> what is the play? It's probably just lingering souls, right? Could also be Bitter Blossom Skull Clamp. No, I want the, I want the two bodies in the board. Artifact has is not a color, so no. Uh, 
well, you can have a mountain. <laughs> if we hit one more land, it's nice because then we can play Jitte and equip Jitte, but. Lodestone Golem. That doesn't affect our Jitte. Did you play the mountain? You played the mountain. So the top is over here. All right, well. Oh, it's colorless. Yeah, we'll just take four. That's fine. That's obnoxious. Bobby, don't kill me now. Wow, you're doing you're doing great, Bob. You're doing fantastic work. This is great work you're doing here, Bob. Cyborg Huey, no worries at all, buddy. Enjoy your uh, your day, your afternoon, your thing. Um, this is tricky. I actually think it is still Jitte attack Karn. Kill this guy. Attack Karn, attack Karn. All right. What do they put into their hand? Top? I doubt it's Inkwell Leviathan. Yeah, all right. Well, that's one less thing we have to worry about. What up, Windsor? This is aggressive. I want to kill this guy first because when we kill this guy I don't want them to like exchange a mox for the lodestone golem again five six seven eight I think that's fine we go to six but we can gain a million life so Oh, I actually have no idea which way they're leaning with the London Mulligan. I think it's good. I just think it... I don't know if it works for all formats is the problem. Like, for standard, it feels pretty safe. I mean, we only... Uh, the, the... What are you... Are you just going face? Sure. Nice. Nice. That's pretty nice. 
Now we can attack for spirits, put a brightling into play, which gives us lifelink. All right, now we have all the options in the world. We can also just vindicate this and then play like two more spirits. I do kind of like having Brimaz out though. It could be Brimaz, Skull Clamp. Actually, it could be just Brimaz Equip. Yeah, let's do that. Spin the top. <sighs> it's two cards in hand. We are at essentially eight life. Just damage each creature. So everything's gonna die. Mom's probably gonna protect herself here. They don't have firebolt mana. They are gonna draw two though. Pro red. So she's definitely surviving. We lose we lose Bob and two spirits, which is totally fine. Still have two cards in hand. Girl signet? Good, good. If they try to equip this, we're gonna kill it in response. Oh no, we should have done that in response. Oh, we're so bad. Oh, we're so bad. I forgot about this stupid life thing. Dang it. Ugh. This is all terrible. I get to draw two for free. We should just kill them in response. Oh my god, I'm so sad. I guess they had two cards at that point. Or they had one card. Mm, yeah, that was bad. We'll block first so we're not terrible at this game. We'll get a free token. And then we'll kill it. Wow. Two free cards. Would you like to divination for free? Oh, okay. So bad. God, it's so hard being this bad at Magic the Gathering. One, two, it's another Signet, okay. And we're at six, there's nothing to do for six. Now spin the top, sure. Yeah, with Skull Clamp and, and Brimaz making cat tokens and also Bitter Blossom and Lingering Souls in the Graveyard, like we're, we, have, we have no shortage of card drawing here. Uh, end of turn. Yep, yeah, just going to pass all, all the ways through. Make it a combat. I think we're in the clear now. Yeah, this is a lot of things. Um, so one, two, we could play Brightling. One, two, three. We could also play Glint Sleeve Siphoner just for more cards. Like we don't need to start skull clamping because we just don't. Play this, no two, pass the turn. 
Uh, the only burn they have in the graveyard is Firebolt. And we, they have two cards in hand, which is not super exciting. This is why we didn't give them Inkle Leviathan, because then they just cast it, and then we have a lot of work to do. They did the 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, they're exactly dead even without the... Well, they have 6 mana to work with. Actually, they're, they're, they're way more than dead. Even if we don't use Jitte, we have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 pumps, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 damage on board. And they have 6 mana to work with here, which is probably pretty good for us. Three, they can upheaval. Yeah, in honor of the pier. Good call. Good call. I actually forgot about that one. Oh man, they're spinning the top while they after they memory jarred. <whistles> Digging deep. Okay, they're drawing the card. Well, now they don't have upheaval mana, so... That guy doesn't have haste. Are you still dead? They gotta be dead with the... They can only block one thing, so... And we have Vindicate. Oh, we don't get... We don't have Honor of the Pure. That's why I didn't consider it, because we don't have Honor of the Pure, because that was part of the upheaval hand. Yeah, this wins us the game, right? Yeah, we have Jitte. Yeah, sure. Just kill this... Just kill this guy. How much damage is this? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we actually have to pump this. And I'm going to get that lifelink too, because I ain't no peasant. And I'll pump this guy too, just to be safe. I don't want to like miscount and be an idiot. Yeah, alright, sweet. GG's! I'm going to give them the GG's because they seem friendly. Not because it was like... You know why. Breitling is... Yeah, Breitling is just Aetherling, but for half the price. You get a sweet Breitling. You get the Breitling discount. Ugh. Wow, again, 4-0. <laughs> these, these past two stipulations have been very, very good. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. Stirring Wildwood into Scrubland into Bitter Blossom. Aetherling was a very obnoxious magic card, just to be clear. Oh man, is this mono red? Oh, it's mono red. Oh, we're mono red and I'm actually probably just gonna kill the Eidolon. I don't want to play a bitter blossom into into Eidolon and then start taking a damage every turn. That seems pretty bad. I'll take my damage. Taking two either way. Might as well, uh, might as well, might as well get off the board. <laughs> sure. That's good. The old Dire Fleet Daredevil. Exiling the swords with no target. I like it. Yeah, now we'll just play this guy. I don't know how aggressive they are, but if they go Hell Rider, it's pretty rough. Three, four, five, seven, take seven, go to 11, go to 10. It's brutal. I'm 
Okay. You got you gotta be kidding me. This is where they go on tap for lightning bolt, discard a card, land, attack. There was the land. One step down. Bitter Blossom seems pretty dangerous against this deck. Firebolt. Alright, so that's that's similar to what I was thinking. And discard a card, attack with everybody, right? Who's better, Morphling or Brightling? Ah, oh, Brightling for sure. It's like two mana less. And they do basically the same thing. Brightling for sure. Oh, they did nothing. All right, well. Not what I was expecting, but... I mean, if Bitter Blossom's charging us one life a turn to be able to block a Hazard, it's actually a pretty good deal. <laughs> oh, that's comically bad. I mean, we're still going to play it, but that's comically bad. That's hilarious. Why are you so quick to cut the honor of the pier? Well, you see, Bill. You see. What do you think of a black white soul sisters build that uses bitter blossom? Um It seems counterintuitive to the life gain. Who's better, Mike or Rob? Wow, that's a terrible question. I can never answer that. Fiery Confluence and go to five huh that's pretty good go to four huh black white healers I don't know what that means let's go to four let's draw vindicate's not going to do it maelstrom pulse not going to do it well we get another peek see this is where they're like kill this in response All these? Oof. Brutal. Brutal. Okay. So, let's bring in Thalia. Let's bring in Red Sword. Take out Honor. Take out Bitter Blossom. Bring in Inquisition. Yeah, that seems good. Disenchant. Nothing else in the sideboard that we really would use. Bone Shredder could be all right, actually. Uh, I don't know what we'd replace with with it though. And I can see cutting Dark Confidant for it. Pika Plan. Thanks so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome. Welcome. Sand seems good. You might say it seems great. It seems great. Sword is going to cost four unless we... Uh, well, no. If they kill Thalia, it costs four.
Where were you, man? I guess I could play that dude next turn if I don't want to take damage from this. <whistles> Brutal. Now we're probably just going to play Blade Splicer. Oh, we're playing that instead for sure. And we're going to get a Jitte because that is a solid, a solid card. It might have been worth taking two here to play Dauntless Bodyguard just so we guarantee to have something to equip the Jitte to, but... What are you going to do? Wow! What in the earth, man? You f you maniac. What an utter lunatic. Whew. That was a good hit. We had no lands, man. We're not going to play Mama here because if they have Fiery Confluence, they can go land Fiery Confluence, and that's a pretty big blowout. Whereas now we can just bounce this, so. Wow, that was crazy, man. What'd you just card? One, two, three, four, five. You spent six cards to, use to get seven. And we lost one, two, three, four, five, and gained two. I think our old hand was was better. Sure. Shut up and take my money hit and face gotta go back to real life sorry to miss the end always believe bill brown thank you so much buddy you are super generous and uh really appreciate it buddy thank you enjoy real life <laughs> wow just three to the face that's interesting just three more to the face wow that's interesting firebolt sure Trying to figure out how they do with Brightling though, because it's not gonna go well for them. Yeah, we can just keep playing lands uh, that are not. Let's just attack first. This is always gonna get Life Link here. Life Link. Um, we're also gonna pump and yeah, that's fine. We're going to play Savannah and keep up land and then just play Lingering Souls here. I just always want to keep up land for this guy. Lucky, 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 lucky. Seems good. Guess we'll take nine. I have no idea what's happening. This is a solid red deck, though. Man. One, two, one, two. So we definitely want to play Lingering Souls here. Back at 15. Seems good. Oh, we just win the game. What the f They have four cards in hand? We just win the game? I mean, I guess we could go pro red a million times, but like that seems like a really preemptive scoop. What do I know, though? That was strange. I 
want to keep this hand. get a two drop we have infinite two drops we have like 12 two drops come on maybe i just ran out of soft caramel chews and now i'm sad well how will you know for sure all right you deal two i'll deal one sounds good that's not a two drop come on don't be like that so we just blade splicer here and then flip legion's landing and then we get to sort of fire and ice or brightling Oh boy. They could have. Um. Hmm. Yeah, if they want to spend their turn going land, activate, equipping, that seems fine. I'll take an extra five. Because that then we get to untap. I'm not screwed. Yep, that seems fine. Oh, they're not doing that. Okay, good. Wheel of Fortune again? Jeez, what is going on? Inferno Titan Fire Blast Hazaret. I mean, oh, we get to untap with Jitte? Oh, boy. I think this is a Firebolt. Probably killing this so this doesn't flip. But then we just get to play Jitte. Yeah, that's fine. This also means if they try to equip this and do one of these jowies, we just get to kill it in response. Glory bringer. Sure. Man, I got bone shredder. I ain't even worried. I ain't even scared. Did I kill my vampire? This little one one? We always end up with the three creature lands in hand. Now we have to move the Jitte and play Bone Shredder, and that's not going to work. So I guess we just go these two. Skip a turn. Uh, we can also just pump this guy. Yeah, I'm just going to pump this guy. <laughs> that seems solid. Um, uh, definitely gonna play. <laughs> hey, nice exert trick, bruv. <laughs> That's just rude. I'm always scared of fiery confluence, though, man. I mean, the nice thing is we can pump our vampire. And if they kill this, like we... Oh, we just win the game. All right, 3-0. Sweet. Thank you guys for watching. Definitely be sure to check out manatraders.com. You will get 20% uh, off your first three months if you use the promo code and the link in the description. Also use meundies.com slash franklapore where you will get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. You can also check my article out that went up this week. It was about Modern Horizons. Let me know your thoughts in the comments for sure. I uh, really appreciate whenever you guys reply. And uh, it's at coolstuffinc.com. You can use promo code frank5 and get 5% off that as well. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. And uh, I'll see you later.